Hi, I'm Mr. Bram. These are my three kids. And this is our 2016 Dodge Caravan SXT. This is how we fit the fan. Isn't life grand? Today I'm gonna to check out the 2016 Dodge Caravan SXT. Now this is a number one selling minivan in the US and that's for good reason. I mean, look at this space and it drives really comfortably. But I will have to say, Compared to other minivans in this class, you start to realize why it's number one. And that's really the price. I mean, the fit and finish, the way the features work, might not be up to standard on the other vans in the same category. But as for this van on its own, it's got some rattles here and there, and you really have to like black velour. But I'm excited to find out how it fits the fam. Something I find interesting about the caravan is that it's actually a lot more compact than you realize. You look at a van and you figure it's cavernous and roomy, but the driving position, while comfortable, is not very confidence inspiring, especially when you consider that there's a 200 mile per hour airbag right in front of you. So you're supposed to be as far away from the airbag as you can be, and for me, I feel really close. The nice part is for most drivers, you can reach everything you need to, and this is actually a very comfortable position. Let's check out the passenger side. Now, like I said from the driver's side, the car itself is more compact than you realize. From the passenger side, without everything in front of you, you feel very comfortable, and there's tons of leg room. The other thing is that most parents are gonna be in that 5'3 to 5'10 range, and your field of view is nice, wide, and open and the seat height is perfect. Unfortunately, you come to me at 6'1 with my tall torso and it's a different story. I feel cramped. That's because the sun visor literally takes up my entire forward view. And this roof rail feels like it's about one inch from my head. So for me, I feel very trapped in this car. Most parents are going to feel great. My wife, who drove this car for a little bit, loves it. I said, I'm not buying one. In the caravan with the forward facing, I feel comfortable with the second row all day long. The seats fit a little funny because of the headrests, but they're secure, they're tight. I'm not worried about that. As you can see, the kids getting in, they have tons of room and great space. Now for me, the concern comes with that third row. That is because there's only one top tether in the third row. One top tether and that's in the center section. Now, I can't use latch for my kids because latch is only good up to 65 pounds according to the owner's manual. And my car seats are 25 pounds and all my kids are over 40. So that means that I have to use the seat belt. Aha. Uh, once again, we refer to the owner's manual and see that the center seat belt does not have ALR or auto locking. That means that I cannot put my car seat into the center section and have it auto lock. That means for me, with three kids and three forward facing car seats, I literally cannot put all my children securely in the Dodge Caravan in this year, 2016. Now I hear future years does have the auto locking, but for 2016, I cannot suggest it. For me, that's the end of the review. But for you, your family might have a different story. So let's go check out the rest of the sections. As far as roll under on the caravan, there's just enough space for snack containers and water bottles and toys. And then as a parent, you reach under there and there's a lot of little sharp items and kind of stuff that catches you. It's not much better the other way. This way, items aren't really gonna roll under the seat unless they're small. Then they'll go down here, right through this hole here. And so if something gets in there, you potentially completely ruin your stow and go system. The caravan door is electric, so opening and entry is a cinch. While high, 
The booster is accessible for all but the shortest of kids. Finally, the buckle is firmly placed, so latching it is easy for any experienced buckler. Now the back of this caravan is awesome. The cargo area has this really deep trunk area because of the stone go. And man, I love that about vans that you can put a ton of stuff back here. Also, what's neat is they have this cool tailgate feature. So you can actually sit back in your rear seats like you're, uh, I don't know, watching the show or watching the game, you know? Um, this is actually an option about these rear seats. I checked it out on Dodge's website. In fact, this image you're seeing right now is from Dodge's actual website. So it is a feature. Also, what I love about the cargo area is that you have all this height. So if you have a tall item you need to stow, you can toss it back here. As for stow and go, that's just as easy. All you gotta do is pull two, three, four, and it's done. One, two, three, four. And you have a completely flat load space. Let's check out how the stroller fits in this expansive space. Oh man, it doesn't quite fit yet, it does. Come on now. Let's face it, it's a massive space and you'll have no problem getting into it. It's actually really nice and low to the ground as well. It's not really a big lift to get over to put items back here. You still have four people in the car um, and it's also, of course, electric. There is a ton of space back here. I've even heard you can put a full four by eight sheet of plywood in the back with everything flat. Now, full disclosure, I folded these things down six times in this review and 50% of the times they didn't go down. And that's when this electric seat was working because at least one of those times the electric seat had something stuck in there and it wouldn't go far enough forward. So I just say that not to have a negative view on this van, but there are just some features that just don't seem very future proof if you're gonna put 100, 150,000 miles on your van. Overall though, how can you beat this space? Come on. When you think of a caravan, you think of people hauling and families, and honestly in that, it does not disappoint. But this is the smallest of the minivans, so you will have to be aware of how you plan out where all your people and stuff are going to go. Sadly, as soon as you add a car seat into the mix, this van is definitely a lot more car than van, because each seating position begins to feel pretty cramped. While it drives great, it does miss it on safety. And of course, the fact that you cannot put a convertible forward-facing car seat in the third row just makes this van seem kind of useless to me. I say Dodge, ban this van. Hey, thanks for watching our review today. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you know when the next videos are being posted. Also, comment below. Let me know what kind of cars you want me to check out and see what can fit your family.